morning. It's Saturday morning, July the 1st, 2023. And what a pleasure it is to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And this morning we're going to take the last two verses of Psalm 20. That's verse 8 and 9 of Psalm 20 this morning. We said last time we were here in verse 7, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. This in verse 8 says, they are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Verse 9, save Lord, let the king hear us when we call. And this is just a reminder that no matter how much we may trust the arm of flesh, it will always fail us. No matter how much we put our confidence in man, that confidence will always be disappointed. And we just need to put our confidence and put our trust in the Lord and focus on Him and claim His promises rather than something else because nothing else has the power that God has and no one else can do what He can do. He is the Almighty. And even though it seems logical to put confidence in physical forces, it seems to be so powerful God is able in one swoop, in one fell swoop, to answer all the resistance that people make against divine truth. And he can work miracles. The very character of God is that he's supernatural. And anything God does is supernatural. He is a miraculous, miracle-working God, and he's able to do all things. And, the, and so the word of God says that these chariots, these horses will be brought down and fall, but we are risen and stand upright, and we should appeal to God to save. Let the king hear us when we call. Let, let the king of the ages respond when his people call to him, and the Bible says that he will and he does. And so we ought to put our confidence and trust in him instead of any earthly power that we see around us. God is more capable. God is more able. He just wants us to exercise faith in him and trust him, even if we can't see the answer. And that's that's the hard part, is to continue on even when we don't see answers materializing in, our, in front of our eyes. We're inclined to trust what we see. But that's not real faith at all, because the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And God continually calls his people to faith, to trust in him. And that's the best answer to the challenges that we face. If we'll just have confidence in God and rejoice in him ahead of time by faith, because we know what he can and will do. He responds to the faith of his people. God help you today.